Kasane? Oh. Huh? Yuito. Dad. Kasane, are you okay? Dad! Out of the way! What are you doing? <laughs> Yuito, you must die. What? What are you saying? I made a promise to you. Arm yourself! Me that you kill me? What are you talking about? You don't need to understand. Die. Stop it, Kasane! Don't go near them, Hanabi. Kasane means business. If you get too close, not only will you not stop her, you could die. You won't be killed. Kasane, we can do whatever you want later. I'm just worried about my father right now. Please, stop. There's nothing to talk about. Here we go. Stop. Why? you're doing <laughs> what do I do dad I have to find a way to stop Kasane even for a second oh right the brain field I should be able to do it I'm not as strong as Major General Karin but if I try though it might be too much for me no Think about that later. I don't have time to hesitate. Sorry, Kasane. This is all I could think of! <laughs> I can do this!
Here it goes, Green. It's an overdrive. It's dangerous. You Joe, you read me? Close the green field right now. happening to me is this the brain field no I can still fight wait what are you doing why are you trying to kill me and my father Kasane did you stab my father Wait, what's this? Attention all citizens of New Himuka. You blind fools who denied the truth before your own eyes. I am Karin Travers of the OSF. I reject the control of the New Himuka government as one of the Awoken. My allies and I have decided to cooperate with Ceyron, who share our will. Pitiful citizens of New Himuka, don't turn your eyes from the truth. This nation is insane. They control the city, the information, and the people with Sinet. Not even your thoughts are free. You are nothing but livestock born to be used by the state. is a regime that eliminates those that threaten them by driving them insane. They only raise submissive livestock they can control. There is no justice. Hey, Kasane's getting away. Wait! Wait! Yuito. Dad? Tsugumi, we're going after Kasane. Yes. Dad! Yuito, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? There's so much I have to tell you. Be careful. This nation. This nation, we. You. Uh. Mr. Sumaragi! No way. You can't... You can't die! Dad, please! citizens of New Himuka. Seiron protects the free will of the people and offers an environment for them to live as human beings. I promise to uphold that standard. There are no requirements to join us. I stood at the front lines of Ceyron and rebelled against a society that would control humans and only allow some of them rights. Now, I will destroy the new Himuka regime with Ceyron as my homeland. What begins now is an escape from oppressive control, a revolution. Join my cause in Ceyron! Help me! 
me destroy the new Himuka regime and put an end to their tyranny forever. That looks like the end of Major General Karn's speech video. The government has started blocking it, so it's inaccessible. So that means what he was saying is true. I knew everyone was under some control, but information is seriously being limited. <sighs> Why don't you rest a little? I mean, this must be hard for you. I'm sorry to make you worry. Don't apologize. I mean, something like that happening right in front of you? It would be hard for anyone. Kasane killed my father? Why would she do that? Did she really? And if New Himuka was trying to make a controlled society, my father and brother were at the center of it. Could he actually do such a thing? If so, then what's the reasoning behind it? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark about this? <sighs> Damn it! Nothing makes any sense! Both of you are all right. Geva! Sugumi! I'm sorry. I lost Kasane. It's frustrating. We saw our meet up with Major General Karin, but we were attacked by the OSF with him. They disappeared while we were distracted. Since Sagumi couldn't track them, they must have been moved by a teleporter. I talked to Wataru too. He's all right, but his sister... Did something happen? She disappeared. I think she joined the Karin supporters in Seiron. It seems nearly half of the OSF have joined him in Seiron. There are rumors that Seiron will declare independence. So Kasane went to Seiron? Yeah, probably. What about you, Gamma? Yeah, I probably would have gone as well. But now, I don't understand what Major General... what Karin is doing. What do you mean? New Himuka really was watching its citizens. True, the New Himuka government is likely controlling its citizens. Even so, I don't believe that putting people in danger was the right thing to do. It seems Karin evacuated the civilians of Suo to shelters before this disturbance started. But even if he did, he was the one who let others into the city in the first place. And then there's Seto. If what he told me about Seto is true, then Seto wouldn't have risked his life to stop Nagi. If he trampled on Seto's dignity to increase his allies, then I can't forgive him. Or myself, for being a fool and not believing Seto. Right. Captain Seto. And we don't know where Nagi is. Yuito, you don't look well. Look, Sugumi's worried too. Just take a break. A lot of things just happened. Don't push yourself. <sighs> Thanks, guys. I guess I should take a break. Yuito, wake up! 
What is it, Hanabi? TV. A tabloid show. The Suo incident caused by Karin Travers is causing much confusion. The assassination of Chairman Sumeragi, ordered by Travers, brought great shock to New Himuka. Dad. We've drawn up an image of the witness account of the culprit, Kasane Randall, shown here. <gasps> Kasane? What's going on? That is awful. You can see the suspect's features so clearly. Hey, are you all watching the news? Wataru. Kasane's family in the OSF refused to provide a picture. Crow's streaming data was also deleted, so all they could do was draw up a picture of her. Man, I feel a little bad for Kasane. Oh, sorry, Yuito. I probably shouldn't say that. No, it's okay. I'm feeling a little bad, too. Yuito, you smiled. Thank goodness. What? Oh, right. I made everyone worry. I'm sorry. Just let us worry. That's all we can do. It looks like there are no after effects from the brain field. Thank goodness. It was your voices that brought me back. It was like... I wasn't myself anymore. Brainfield really is powerful, but you can't use it when you're emotional. I wasn't thinking straight. I knew it was a risky move, but I didn't imagine it would be this bad. Powers are affected by emotions, so it's probably the same with brain fields. If you can control it, it will be a powerful tool. So it's all in how you use it? That's a little scary. Just be careful using it. Anyone can change staying in a place like that. Oh, yeah. Chief Sumeragi wants you to come to HQ. My brother. Okay, I'll be right there. Wataru, about your sister. Haruka? Don't worry about her. She's impulsive, unlike me. So she probably got concerned while looking after Kasane and the others, and ended up going along with them. What? Your sister is involved with Kasane? Oh, you didn't know? She's Kasane's operator. And that's just how things are, so don't sweat it. But thanks. <laughs> okay, hurry up and get going before you anger the chief. Okay, let's go back to Suo. Yuito? What happened? Why did you stop? <laughs> what? Um... Weren't we just talking at the hideout? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Huh? When did we get back to Suo? Sorry to keep you waiting. We banned all interviews so crows would get off our backs. So it's okay now. Huh? Lieutenant Colonel Luca? Yuito, I asked you to just call me Luca. You're in command now. What? Wait a second. You mean when I was provisional commander during the Suo incident? No. You were just made commander by Major General Fubuki. When was that? Huh? You're acting strange. Wataru, is there anything strange about Yuito's cerebral data? No, nothing in particular. 
You don't remember meeting Major General Fubuki? No. We've been reassigned to OSF First Platoon. You're the leader, and we're going out on patrol. Ugh. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should get checked out at the OSF hospital ASAP. What about the patrol? If things are hairy, I'll call the higher-ups. You're the leader. I can't force you to. But would you please go to the hospital? Yeah. You'll get peace of mind if you do. Right. You're right. Okay. I'll do that. I'll tell command about the patrol. As for getting to the hospital... Oh, my uncle is the chief doctor, so I'll take him. Also, because my uncle runs the show, if I send him a message, he'll be looked at right away. No need to worry. It's likely the result of exhaustion. There seems to be an excess of psionic hormones leaking in your brain, causing temporary confusion. I'll give you a prescription to stop the leakage that you can fill at our pharmacy. Take it when symptoms appear. Okay. Thank you. incident. In an unprecedented promotion, he was appointed to Commander of First Platoon. What is this? I didn't do any of that. It may not be exactly what you want, but deal with it for now. It's a request from Chief Kaito and the government. They want to raise you up as a hero who saved the country. Wait, that's right. We did talk about that. I can't remember most of it, though. Now, let's have a look at 2nd Lieutenant Yuito Sumaraki's March of Victory. Don't bother with the news. The media always does whatever they want. So how was it? Figure anything out? Yeah. They said it was exhaustion. I have to wait here for a bit for my prescription to be ready. Council Chairman Joe Sumeraki, slain at the hands of assassin Kasane Randall in the Suo incident. In light of such a dire event, our courageous second lieutenant, Yuito Sumeraki. Hey, if we have time to kill, why not look around the hospital? I didn't get a chance to show you around before. <laughs> You're very kind, Hanabi. Hey. At least it's far better than watching the crow's propaganda. Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. That woman looks like she's in trouble. Excuse me, is everything all right? Oh, sorry. I'm a dud. I, I just can't see the hospital's vision. A dud? Forgive me. I'm inept, so I can't activate the system that responds to powers. Do you know where the neurology department is? I can show you the way. People without powers are called duds? You really were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth. 
It's because, well, how can I put it? They don't really have much mental ability. That's a pretty harsh nickname. It is, but people without powers tend to refer to themselves as duds rather than inept. They probably have an aversion to admitting they have less brain power. Unable to use powers. That must be so inconvenient. Yes, I'm sure it is. The town's vision and even Sinet were created with powers in mind. I've heard that only 0.1% of the population is inept. I really think the government should give more consideration to them. Apparently at the OSF hospital, they're conducting research on ineptitude and how to cure it. Getting rid of the inept must be a goal for the government. Duds. Hmm. Why does that remind me of something? Huh. What's wrong, Hanabi? What's with that face? Well, when I brought that woman to the neurology center, I heard a nurse talking about some bus for urgent patients. Why would they put urgent patients on a bus? A bus. I must have heard wrong. I'm sorry. A bus is here. Underground. Underground? Why would a bus be underneath the hospital? They should make it come to the main entrance. The underground road is a special passage to leave the city. Hmm. There's no data on the OSF hospital, which means we have no idea what's going on inside. It wouldn't surprise me if they used an underground road to bring in emergency patients. Urgent patients? The Ichijo OSF Hospital's old building is outside of Suo. You mean Lokusho City? I heard it was badly attacked by others ten years ago. That not even ruins are left. That's right. Did you used to live in Lokusho City? No. I was born and raised in Suo, because my father was disinherited from the Ichijo's main branch. I only went to Lokosho City every once in a while. But the hospital you were in was the old OSF hospital in Lokosho, right? I even went there to visit you. Right. When Lokosho was attacked, my mother was killed. <gasps> Nagi is on the bus? What? Nagi? Yeah. He was filed under missing persons. I might have been mistaken. Sorry, I can't track him. I'm not allowed access inside the hospital. All right. Sugumi, tell us where the bus with Nagi was headed. I've sent the coordinate data. It's in the direction of the old OSF hospital in the Lokusho city ruins. Let's all go. If Nagi is alive, I want to see him and talk to him. Yeah, we need to make sure that really was Nagi. I train every day, so I'm ready to go to the front lines whenever I'm needed. 